Welcome to the Barbecue Walk of Flame, everyone. Today on my WebEQ, I'm making one of those warm, comforting desserts that go down really well as the days get somewhat cooler and shorter. In the kitchen, there's a bit of prep work to do, but much of this can be done a day or two in advance, and then top with a crumble mixture just before baking. The ingredients are 400 grams of strawberries, 200 grams of blueberries, one tablespoon of corn flour, one orange, and 20 grams of sugar. First, I need the zest from the orange. Then the juice of the whole orange. I'm using a fine sieve as I only want the juice. No pips, no flesh. Into a saucepan add the corn flour. Hang on, I must get all of it in the pan. Now add the orange juice and whisk to make a smooth mixture. When the juice and the corn flour are completely combined, the blueberries and half of the sugar is added. The smaller strawberries go in, whilst the very large ones are quartered and the large ones are halved. These will be added to the pan with the rest of the sugar. Place the saucepan over a medium heat and stir. The fruit only needs to be softened and should retain some of its firmness. When some of the juices are released and it looks nice and glossy, I think I can say that's ready. Now transfer to an oven proof dish, making sure that every little drop of that lovely syrup goes into the dish. Now set to one side and allow to cool. For the crumble mixture you will need three tablespoons of oats, three tablespoons of wholemeal flour, two tablespoons of margarine, the orange zest, two tablespoons of sugar, and three tablespoons of plain flour. To a mixing bowl, add the plain and wholemeal flours, the sugar, and the margarine. Now get your hands in and with your fingertips work the flour, sugar and margarine until you have a mixture that resembles fine breadcrumbs. Finally add the oats and the orange zest and with one hand give it a quick mix to distribute evenly. Sprinkle the crumble mixture generously to cover the fruit. And that's it. We're finished in the kitchen. Outside on the patio I'm going to prepare my Weber Q with a foil deflector and grid. I'm cooking with indirect heat. So I only need to light the main burner. Close the lid whilst the cooking temperature of 200 degrees C is reached. On goes the crumble and let it cook for 30 to 35 minutes. 
If you're liking this video so far, then sub the channel. All you have to do is click the button, ding the bell, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Now, let's see how the crumble's doing. A quick look, and it's bubbling away nicely. That's done, and it's time for a taste. The crispy crumble topping hides a delicious velvety fruit filling. Just look at that lovely tangy ruby red sauce. With a dollop of custard, I promise you it will not be in the dish for long. Mmm, scrumptious. And there you have another delicious dessert, which is easy to make, can be made in advance, and goes down really well at a barbecue, especially on these cooler, shorter autumn days. Well, that's all for me, the dude of the food. So, it's goodbye for now, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.